assorted kit from the academy uh, going out to uh, communities in Sierra Leone that the club's been supporting for 12 years now. Um, explain what the kit will be used for when it gets there. Uh, depending on, because I haven't been through it, depending on what it is, if we can get, if there's full kits, that will go to either school groups or a couple of uh, the, the local football teams that we've already organised. If not, it will be community giveaways to the, the Littlands. Uh, often in these communities, uh, they might have two or three shirts in their entire wardrobe. So an Oxford United shirt is a great bonus to them all. Um, where's the kit come from? Uh, it's come from the Oxford uh, Youth Academy. Um, it's, you know, a, a, a first off, of, although some parents from the academy have supported me in the past, and I think we've had a unofficial link with the club for 12 years, but it's beginning to become a bit more developed and integrated, and hopefully we can move on from there. If there are other uh, fans out there who have old Oxford United kit, boots, sure, it doesn't have to be Oxford United, I guess that those people out in Sierra Leone, anything football related would be gratefully received. Yeah, it's really interesting. When you go out there, uh, you see all the, all the kits, um, but they're, they're, they're so grateful for ev everything and anything. Um, you know, we've, we've done a, a, a couple of local schools in Banbury where I hail from. We've done like a, you know, kit amnesty when the kids grow out their, their shirt, whatever club it is drop it in and we did that about three years ago at one of the schools and sent five boxes of assorted kit absolutely fantastic and the kids love it and the one thing I will say is we always get feedback and photographs um, videos can be a bit difficult but we always get feedback so that kids who've donated parents who've donated f know it's real it's you know it's not just putting money in a in a in a bottomless pit